you cannot be of impure blood you cannot come if you have taken the mark it is not for you I shall receive on this accident this morning that um, the service weekly wants to be heading to Kingston along with um, Mr. Mr. Smith, the famous pastor. Um, on their way, the service vehicle over fake, and the vehicle that the three police and Mr. Smith was traveling in right, collided into the, the, a white pickup truck. And seeing it, the pickup driver stopped, mm -hmm. and the vehicle could not make. Yeah, overtake because of the service vehicle go through mm -hmm. was so narrow. So the, the vehicle that was transporting the the submit um, collided mm -hmm. into pick up and get up a control and slam into the embankment. Was passing. There was a lot of crowd. The most the kid pushed her. So no man. When I stopped my bike, uh, mm, mm, the police was, uh, was in pain. And I sent for a, um, a, ja uh, a claw bar mm -hmm. and start brace, brace off the door. Brace off the door. And then that door couldn't brace off. I'm, I'm going on the other side, on the Java side. Mm -hmm. Pull it. And two other. But I don't want to come out. I'm not spotting that. And Assist the police to come out. Take all the two of them, two of them, fireman, first man, and come and assist the time. Mm -hmm. Put them on the switch and tie them to the Spanish town hospital. And then when the assist the one back in the back, the final said the one back in the dead, man, the past the man. Because we go there and feel him, the police, and we don't feel the movement. And the police man was building three months and he moved. So, I have not uploaded a video for the last two weeks. I've been just observing what's going on in Jamaica. You know, um, first, it was the pastor. Alright? Then, I wanted to get cut off and all of that. And, I never really say anything because this is not something I really make videos about. Alright? But when I... Not because I wasn't saying anything. May I do research, all right? So, doing the research on this religious topic, I realized that religion goes way deeper than we think because I've been seeing videos from pastors in Nigeria who say that, you know, pastors come to them for religious powers. Let me show you a clip of that. He is a well-known priest in his native Ghana with a surname which means the devil. Koiku Bonsam claims he has given over 4,000 pastors worldwide powers. This is to enable them to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. You always normally let the, some of the pastors, the pastors is the one who, who, who is their problem. They are the one who get the confusion. They are the one who talk, excuse me to say, nonsense and question and stop it and eat you to people to put in your mind. There is nobody here. Every day I do consultation, I sit down like this, I look at 500 people a day for consultation. Every day 500, every day 500. If I say, I mean, I didn't come and say, I do this, I do this, I do this for people. But I can say maybe I have some pastors, 4,987, 4,987 pastors in the world that I help them. I give them to, 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 to their churches. I, I, I use this my five finger to say I give them to do, to do their check. You know, blow your phones. But I can never say that when you come to my shrine, I will give you this, I will blow. You know me, the thing is in already. It's very serious. Not once, twice, or thrice has he said this. Could this be true? Did you know how many pastors that they come to me, give them powers? I'm not standing here to mention names. I have most of, uh, about 4,932 pastors in the world that I'll give them powers to do whatever they're supposed to use to do. The guy need to give credence to his words. He gave an idol to a pastor to help his church grow. 
and the financial terms and conditions that when the pastor had failed to fulfill the agreement, he stormed the church and took away his idol. So the disbelief of the church members. Watch this. So today when me hear say the vehicle crash and the pastor did like I was expecting it. I had told so many persons that this man won't be able to testify, this man won't be able to go before the judge. You understand? This man will be killed. This man will die before he actually gets a chance to go before the judge. And when me go up the road and come back and me come say, for my this accident, go on and this man dead on me. It makes me scared because me say like, demonic powers, demonic powers are for real. Because this man know him never had to testify. And if it wasn't a demonic power, this man actually hold the policeman or hold the steering and make the car crash. You understand? And me have a little clip where somebody has said that to. Me have to see that. From once is a, you turn prisoner, you get charged. Not charged, from get lock up and thing. A straight handcuff. No special treatment, you see me? And this pastor boy, you get be a special treatment from with you. Him no, he no handcuff. Him no drive, no no radio car. I just be and mark car and drive. You know? And news come out now. I look at voice now. I don't know if it's a policeman or a soldier or a liar or what talk. But he must say, yo, too much special treatment going for this man. And this man, like a him all a driver from back and the something man make a car crash and he don't know the accident and what happened already. So we are say, yo, the police force, you don't need to start out on the thing and the man them don't want to go be. All of the big police them don't want to go be. Yo, them for lose them work. You see it for them make young youth lose in life. And at that me vex over, you see it. However, one of the reasons I did not do a video about this topic is that everybody on YouTube, he, she, the old lady and them dog, I do a video about this topic. And Elite Jamaica is not like that. You understand? Sir P, the one video. I appreciate that because that's all that needs to be done. You see me? True Jamaican buzz, I live upon it. You see me? The rest of the new station, the run up, come up new station, them on YouTube, them live upon it. You understand? All of this, 10% of persons are going to be like, them are going to be, like I say, yo, you know, say this man get exposed, they're not going to deal with them something there. But 90% of persons in Jamaica are going to be running to see what they can do. You see me? They're going to say, oh, this thing real. So they're going to try to get involved in this thing because Jamaicans are followers. We are not leaders. So they're going to try to get involved in this thing to get stuff done you understand so i did not do a video about all of this because i was just observing to see what's gonna be happening i know that mr said really i come to pass just as me that think i really have to do a video pertaining to this so after analyzing all of this and doing research into black magic black magic and religion realize say like this these two entities are entwined. 
And uh, most of what these pastors are doing, it's not about the Almighty. It's not about God. May I play one little clip, guys? And I need you guys, please do not skip this clip. Just watch the clip and you will understand what these pastors have been doing to our people. You understand? And it's really sad. I did know so this man that got dead, you know. And, you know, I don't really do videos like this, but I had to do something like this. You know? So, hopefully, we can see and we can learn and we can get over this quick enough so we can move on. Because this is not going to end. You understand? Um, the other religions who do the same sacrifice because demonics is all about confusion. Haven't you been confused as to which religion is right and which is wrong? And when you really analyze the fact, you will get to understand that none is right, none is wrong. It's just about how you live your life. You have got to be Christ-like. It no matter which church you go or which denomination you're from. You understand? So, this really makes a change in society. And society will change as of this day. We know that. Now, we have seen stuff that we never did supposed to see. Stuff happen or we never did supposed to see. Or maybe it has been done for us to see because I tell people that this is not exposing the past or exposing demonics. This is actually an invitation to join the occult. 10% of persons who see videos like these, they will actually say, oh, this is the one and they will turn from stuff like that. But 90% or 85% will see this and say, oh, the occult dead, we can't do this and make money. We can't do this and, you understand? So persons, this will be like an invitation to join the occult. So, like, and watch a clip here, guys. And thank you so much for joining. It's really been a pleasure having you here. Saturday, 12 o'clock. Saturday, midnight, 12 o'clock. You should take a bowel fill it with water and get there and you bath when you bath with the stove they said i should start on top of my head that is where they said my destiny is and as i took the soap bathed with it and rub it on my skull rub it on my head and i would confess or i will speak things that i wanted to see and guess what as a young person who's hungry for power one thing that i kept on repeating i want people to fall i want people to fall i want people to fall this was what I thought symbolized the power in ministry. You know, I, I prayed and said, I want when I touch people to, to fall down, when I blow out, people must fall down and roll. Those were, were the kind of powers that made me to seek occultic power so that I, 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 I can use them in the house of the Lord. And the following morning, I went to church. When I went to church after I've used that ritual, I got inside church and you know during that time when you get inside church you get very late you don't start with the worship you don't you don't start with intercession because you are not part of them spiritually once you, you become part of the occultic you you don't connect with the body of christ because there are certain rules that they tell you that you need to come when it's your time to ascend the pulpit because that is when you come with your force so you don't have to come and start with the service during the beginning of the service and i came they were singing this song and as they were singing the song and i parked the car you know when they parked the car everybody get excited and said the pastor is here and when I walked inside the hall they clapped their hands they did not know that I have used the black soap they looked at me as the man of God but they did not know that as I passed there I was followed by evil spirits I stood on the pulpit and I took on the microphone and I started to pray and I started to say touch them touch them you know what happened Immediately I said, touch them. I said, Ashas, Ashas, where are you? You know, you, you create that vibe. I said, Ashas, Ashas, move around, Ashas. I'm telling you, within two minutes, I started to hear people screaming. Others were falling. In my heart, I said, yeah, this black soap is working. So sometimes when we see all these things that are happening in our churches, in the body of Christ, sometimes we think it is the power of God. But I want to tell you, as you are listening to this testimony, that what I've went through, did not symbolize the power of God. Then from then I saw that it was waking. They also gave me some oils to use, you know, the oil that you open and you talk anything that you want. Those were the kind of things that I used before I went to Nigeria. And the time came so that I can travel to Nigeria. I took all my savings because I had to pay for also the, the one who was taking me there. 
because this is the pastor who come from there and uh, he was taking me to the occult. This is more of a family set up of pastors, preachers, prophets from all over the world where they come and that is where they get their powers from. And the following morning we had to go into this village and when we went into that village that is where I was introduced to what they call the Ifa. Now, now Ifa is more of a religion in Nigeria where they worship Ifa as a god. This is a spirit or a demon, I will call it, that they worship there. Now, when we got there, they, we consulted the Ifa priest. They called them the Ifa priest. Now, the Ifa priest did some incantation and he was able to predict certain things upon my life. And that is why I was convinced and said, this man, he's going to help me. Then from then they did the ritual. They told me that there are things that I must buy, the goat, the, the, the chicken, the fowl, and other stuff to, to, to make the covenant. And that is where they took me into the boiling drum, where it was on, on, on fire, filled with water, to the boiling point. As the steam was coming, coming out, I saw the steam, I touched the steam, from then they took me and they put me inside that boiling drum but suddenly when I touched the water it was cold they closed it and they did some incantation from then they took me into several gods the god of thunder that is the reason why when people every time they they, they talk in the church and they, they they speak about the god of thunder you'll hear the prophet shouting the god of thunder i i i know what they are talking about because this is not the god of heaven now the the god of thunder is the one that when you do your 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 your, your sacrifice on it it is where you are saying that everything that your enemy have sent to you it must go back to than uh, back to sender so that that was the kind of, of ritual where I, I had to do all those things and say back to sender. So every time when you hear such kind of prayers where somebody is shouting and say back to sender, ask yourself where in the Bible, which verse in the Bible, which teachings in the Bible does that kind of doctrine stand on? Because the back to sender are usually practiced by occultic people. That was the God of thunder. Then we went to the God of iron. Now when we went to the God of iron, that is where they, they, they sacrificed a, go, a, a, a dog, a dog. That is the reason when I see these people eating dog and I, in a church, I know that this is what has been sacrificed to the God of iron. They sacrificed the God of iron with a dog and I had to eat dog by that time. I even wrote about it uh, this part now from then we went to the water uh, spirit where it was a river where I had to take some cowries some seashells that I had to speak to the other one I had to carry it wherever I go and put it on my shrine back at home now traveling back to South Africa they said the first thing that I need to do before I go to church I need to go to the river the stream river around Soshanguve that is where the church was. So I had to introduce the spirits from Nigeria with the spirits of the place in the stream. So I went to the stream, I spoke and I said, I want these spirits to help me to fill the church. They gave me also the head of a pig that I had to bury inside the church and we buried it. And guess what? Within, within a period of less than a month, less than a month, we saw a lot of people coming into the church because they told me that when the pig starts to rot, the worms that are coming out of the pigs, the worms that will be, it will be the number of people coming to church. You can ask anybody around social movie, they will tell you that on a Sunday morning, it was traffic going to our church. On the road, you will see people wearing white. It was traffic going to the church. So I knew deep in my heart and said, these people, they are not here for the word of God, but they are here brought by all these kind of powers. Because one of the signs to see if people are not here by the word of God is because they don't need the word of God. They need miracles and prophecy. When you preach the gospel, they sleep. That is the reason why during that time I did not invite any preacher. It was me only. I will make sure that I don't contradict my gospel because my preaching was not about Christ, but my preaching was about miracles and healing. And the moment I start to say, can I prophesy? Yeah, guess what happens? The whole place shakes. Everybody stands up and say, prophesy. But when you teach the word of God, they sleep. But when you say, can I prophesy? The whole stand. And because this is what the spirits have brought them to. So don't be fooled when you see crowd people filled in the place. Ask yourself, what are they looking for? 
then you will know if they are of God. Because a lot of people feeling the, the, the stadiums, feeling the arena, feeling the overflow, they are there for prophecy and miracles. And the devil can give prophecy. In the book of Acts, you remember about the, the, the young woman who was using the, the python spirit. She was predicting, prophesying, using a wrong spirit. And she came to the apostles and they rebuked him. A lot of Christians are feeling the chairs where they are hooked up with spiritual principalities. And this is what I did. And by that time, they told me, you need to stop what you're doing. I had several offices where I was now consulting. For people to come and see me, uh, they had to pay a certain money uh, for consultation. And the reason why they had to pay, it was because the money I will take and I will put it to the altar. That is the reason why you need to be careful where your money, where you take your money to. They will give me money for consultation and I will put it on those gods, those spirits. They, the money has to sleep there so that the person who has given the money will keep on giving. That is the reason why people who are under occultic, everything they think is to give into that particular uh, church because you are giving to that altar. And I had offices, I was selling oil, I was selling water, I was selling candles, anything that I will think of or anything that I will see in the Bible crossing. If it's oil, I will bring it and bring it as a doctrine. If it was water, I will bring it and bring it as a doctrine. So those were the kind of things that I was doing to, 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 to generate more money. 